Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we'd take another look at masks in CapCut PC and in particular the uh, circle mask. So to get started, I've already imported two clips. They're royalty free clips from pixabay.com and I'll put links to them in my, in my description just in case you want to give this a go yourself. So, and I've already brought the first clip, which is this um, charming young lady onto the timeline. So if I just run through, just let you see what the clip does. So we have this young lady, I'm going to create a circle crop around her. Now, unfortunately, during the clip, I thought, first of all, that the lady's moving. It's not, but the photographer has moved a bit. So I need to ensure that my crop is big enough to cope with the movement in the film. But anyway, so first thing we need to do is we've got our clip. We need to make sure it's selective, that it is active. And then I come across to the menus on the right hand side and under video. I want to come across to mask. So left click on mask and then we have our mask options in CapCut. And we are going to select circle. So we now have a mask. I'm going to need to make that a bit bigger and I'm going to do probably a bit bigger than I would want to normally um, just to give me enough room for her to bob out bob around a bit or rather the photographer to bob around a bit okay so we have that now i think that should just about do that so i'm now in the menus i'm now going to come across to the basic tab click on the basic and now in the menus i'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and we see canvas and in canvas, I'm going to use this to add a little border to our mask. So select the down arrow and I'm going to select color. And on there we have our um, colors that we can choose from. I'm just going to go for white. And then once I've done that, quite simply, I'm just going to come back to my clip. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select create compound clip. So what that has done now, that's now created a new clip, which is a mixture of the original clip and the mask that we've just generated. So now that we've got this compound clip, I'm going to come back up to the menus again and I'm going to come across to mask again, select mask. Select circle again. Now I'm going to increase the size of the mask and then hopefully we'll start seeing the white background. There we go. And oh, is that too fit? No, that's, that's okay. That's fine. Now, just to mention while we're here, while we're on the mask tab, we can't move this image around at all. And if you do try, all you'll do is you'll just mess up your, your mask. So what you need to do next, if you want to change the size of your mask or move its position, is do that by coming across to the basic tab. Now, once you're in the basic tab, you can move it around to your heart's content. You can change the size, whatever. So, Worth knowing that, so don't try to do that on the mask tab. Do this under the basic tab. So let's just rough this back where it was. It's not really important. We'll fix that later how we want it. Okay, so we're pretty much done there now. We've got our young lady in the circular mask. Let's now add the um, second clip. But before we do that, I need to move the original clip up one line because I want the second clip to come below the first clip. So I want my background clip to be below. So let's add this track now. It's below where I want it. And we can see straight away that we, we've getting the effect that we want. I'll just to be tidy. 
make it the same length. And what we can do now is if I click on the first clip, I can move around the location. We can, we can leave this young lady central like that if we want, if that's the effect we're looking for. Um, quite commonly, if we are doing this to show ourselves recording and talking during a clip that we've made, you might have something like this. And, um, and that's pretty much it. So if I come back to our clips, I'm going to deselect away from both of them. I'm going to press my home key to get us back the, to get the head back to the beginning. And let's press play. And there you go. So we have our circle mask on a video clip. Wasn't too hard at all. And uh, that's about it, I guess. So uh, I'll just say thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this useful and goodbye.